Hello everybody, welcome to this part 5 of uh, the ArcUDI tutorial video. So this video is related to how to create and open a new project on ArcUDA. So basically very uh, simple stuff. Um, as you can see, uh, we'll see how to create a new project and then how to open it and also how to create a project memo. So first at all, what we have to do is to open our RStudio. As I told on the other video, we always need to open RStudio. And then we can uh, just move that. We'll check RQDA. So RQDA is here. Okay, I'm just checking it. And then a new window will open. And if the window doesn't open straight on the screen, uh, just go to search it and uh, you will see that here it has open, it's open here. So just make Alt and tabulation. So you, you hold, uh, you press Alt and then you, you, you press on tabulation and then you will see that the windows is somewhere uh, on, on, uh, on what, on, on all the windows, you will you will see that RQDA is somewhere. Okay, so now uh, we'll just see this menu. So on almost all video will be related to, to one uh, menu. So we'll begin with that one, as I said, the project menu. So we'll create a new project. What is a new project? Basically, it's a kind of, uh, of work. So if you are working, uh, I don't know, if you do a work about, I don't know, social network, for instance, this will be one project. But if you also do at the same time another work uh, related to only to a special uh, social network such as LinkedIn and a totally different work for different people and so on, this will be a new project. But basically, do not mistake uh, interviews with project. For instance, if I'm doing um, a project about social network and I will uh, and I will make 20 interviews. So the interviews will go on files, but on the same project. So one project doesn't equal to one interview. A project is a global uh, project. So how to create a new project? Uh, basically, we have to press on new project and then a window will open and we have to choose the location uh, where, we on, where we want to save the, the project. So. Uh, basically, we have a choice here. Uh, uh, usually, it will be like this first. So you will have uh, only some choice between document, desktop, and so on and so on. So if you are happy with that, just save on documents or whatever you want. But if you're not happy, just press on Browse for the other folders. And here you have a lot of choice. So you can uh, you you can you can see that here you have the path. So user, my name, desktop, and so on. And here you have other uh, choice. And here you can create new folder and so on. So I've already created a new folder here called RQDI test, which is uh, located in the desktop. So desktop and RQDI test. So I will go here. And here I will create my new project. So on name, I will save the name of the new project. So I will just write test new project. And as you can see, I'm not doing any space and I highly recommend you not doing any space when you create name of project. So it's not, it, maybe it will work if you do some space, but uh, I mean, in computing, in, in, the, in the IT, uh, you really shouldn't do any spacing. So rather than doing spacing, you make a capital letters for each new word. Or if you prefer, you can make underscore like this. Or you can even make uh, that one, but just do what do whatever you you prefer. But I would not recommend you to do any spacing. And the same happened for the accents. So, for instance, if you speak French, do not do that kind of uh, of accent. Uh, same happen if you speak German or other languages. So just use uh, characters. Uh, I would say. Uh, English characters, so from the English language, that's to say with no accent. So it would be better to do like that because uh, you would be sure to to avoid some issues. So once you 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 name your folders, you just go on OK, 
and you can see that the other uh, buttons that were gray before are not gray anymore and you can see that now the current folder is open and it's located on the C user meeting desktop RQDA and the name of the folder is test new project RQDA. If I just open the explorer, you can see that here C user meeting desktop or RQDA, I've just opened, uh, I've just created this new folder, which is actually, uh, which size 0k now because I've just created it. Um, and once you created a new project, usually uh, if you are working only on one project, you create one time the new project and then you will only click on open uh, each time you close. So let's close the project. You just click here and then you see that there is no project open and all the gray uh, button are, 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 are all the, the button are gray. Uh, if you not have any project, uh, the bottoms will be gray. So now I will open the project. I will just click on open then a new window opens here and then I have to go to the location so that's to say to desktop to RQDI test and I click two times here and as you can see I have open the new project okay so we've seen the new project the open button uh, I will not go into the details about uh, the three last buttons but I just want to tell you that you can create a memo so if you are working into qualitative uh, data analysis, you already uh, know what it is. But I will just let you show that it's looking like this if you press on memo. And here you can write any memo you want. So this is a memo related to the project because after we'll see that each interview, for instance, uh, each file ha can have a memo, each code can have a memo, but this is a memo related to the global project so for instance you can write uh, this uh, project uh, uh, you can write what you want actually it's just some notes just imagine it's like a post-it you can just write whatever you want and if you want to remember what you write uh, we'll see how to open it later but this project uh, is a test i'll just write this one but as you can see you can write as much as you want uh, and, and you are free to write uh, what you want and then before to close, don't close here, just close on save memo. And after you can see that this is gray. So if I write new one, it's it's not gray anymore. So each time you are writing something, then you, you have to, to press on save memo. And after you can close the window. And if I click here again, you can see that the window is opening and it's shown that this is a, this is a test. Okay, so that's fine. And now I will just close it. I will close the project and once again I will just open the project again just to show you but I think you already understood the, the system so RQDI test new test project and here you can see that uh, I have the, the project open so now I will just close the project and you know I will just open another project because actually I have many projects on my computer so I will do open project and I already know the the location of the project so I have a project uh, which is uh, under a total different uh, path and uh, I just write OK and now you see I have many uh, files and I will choose this one for instance and if I go here, you can see that I've opened a totally different uh, project. For sure, if I click on memo, here I have a kind of uh, a much more detailed memo, which is telling uh, what is the project about, uh, which encoding I used, uh, the date, etc., etc. So basically, you can do the, the, the memo you want. And you have to know that on these tutorials, uh, usually I my aim is just to show to show you how the software is working but after when I will show you some examples you do not have necessary to do exactly what I'm saying because I'm guessing that you already know uh, you are already working into a specific department so my aim is not to, to give you any methodology or anything about it it's just to tell you how the software RQDI is working Okay, so on the next uh, steps, we'll see how to create a file and so on and so on. So I invite you to follow the next videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Cheers.